So here is a skull of Didelphus, the um, Virginia possum. And uh, to demonstrate the, the movements I'm looking at, the, um, the, the most prominent movement that uh, jaws make during um, chewing is, is just this up and down, what we think of when we, when we chew, this up and down movement, which is pitch rotation. But there's also a little bit of yaw rotation, which is kind of a side to side um, uh, rotation that occurs that allows that uh, grinding um, uh, to occur between the upper and lower molars. And so what I'm looking at is those two types of rotation. And when I see those evolutionary changes in the jaw and the teeth, um, what it, uh, what my, my results show is that this may be um, better adapted for um, or increasing the torque for yaw rotation versus pitch rotation. So I looked at teeth shape and I also looked at jaw shape and there's a couple things that occur at the same point in the evolutionary history and one of those things is the evolution of um, what's called the talonid basin which is the back half of the molar uh, right here um, and so this part right here the back half of each of these molars is not present in some of these earlier lineages they don't have anything back there and that acts kind of like a mortar and pestle with um, with the upper molars and allows for grinding of, of food matter uh, when they chew. So it might have um, expanded the dietary range of, of these mammals. Uh, the second thing I looked at is, uh, is jaw shape and notice the, the back of the jaw here is kind of curved and there's not, uh, um, there's no process coming off of that. Whereas um, uh, mammal groups like the possum here have this real prominent process called the angular process where muscle, a lot of muscle attaches to this and those muscles are expected to kind of shift back um, when they attach to that. Um, and so uh, these, two, these two evolutionary changes seem to occur simultaneously in the fossil record.